What's up everybody, Farmer Ben from Den Hill Farm and Fungi here, and I'm gonna be analyzing cordycep processing and strains. Uh, so this is after uh, we grew our cordyceps in bags on rice, and these strains came highly recommended online. The breeder Appalachian Gold, you can purchase his stuff on Etsy. I tried two of the ones that he had available. This is the Hides 4. It is a smaller strain, a lot more um, fruiting bodies and um, antlers, for lack of a better word. Um, it is very productive, aggressive. I really had great results from it. I've tried a couple other strains from Myco Labs and from Root Mushroom Farm. Um, and both the root one was weird. I, I had a lot of um, kind of like duds, but some of them fruited a lot later. Uh, I don't know, but the Michael Labs one was pretty good. Um, so yeah, we had 41% bioefficiency and 1.5 pounds of yield. So it seemed pretty good. Um, I was really happy with that strain. Um, the other strain, that I had from Appalachian Gold uh, was the H456, such an intense name. Um, that strain is a lot meatier and thick, don't have quite as high of a yield or quite as many antlers, uh, but it, they are really chunky and big, really fat Cheetos. Um, so yeah, that one has uh, been very cool to grow too. Um, I have been experimenting since these first batches um, on creating more airflow by putting vents in the bag, see if that helps with yields. Um, and then same with the pressure cooking, uh, there's not a lot of information about processing them and it does seem like boiling medicinals is not the best way to process them into a powder. It's actually a real conundrum because it appeared from the research I found that it varied between varieties on which is best, whether pressure cooking, microwaving, boiling. And so if you're trying to do multiple varieties or have like a standard process, it seems like um, it's a real pain. But that's why I like to do potency testing and compare our boiling, maybe different types of pressure cooking. Um, but there's a lot to learn and we have a ways to go. But check out what we've done on Etsy.